we we are hoping that the energy of the moment uh, becomes contagious. And 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 I think that it would be mean if we didn't acknowledge the folks who have been in the fight for a very very long time, uh, folks who have been in the fight in in states where the uh, constitution has actually been voted to be amended to ban same-sex marriage. We're hoping that this energizes you to figure out a way to detangle that mess. Um, I'm not really quite sure how that can happen, uh, but there, where there's a will, right? That's, mm -hmm. how, that's, that's what our adversaries always believe, because be clear, there are people right now strategizing how to overturn this law that has been passed. It's never over when you have people who are frightened of who you are. And you know why they're frightened, right? They think you're having more fun than they are. They think that you have the secret answer to happiness that they are searching for that they can't find in their daily lives or in their church choirs or in their, their PTAs. They're afraid. They're afraid that you know something that they don't. They're afraid that if you touch them, not that you're going to turn them gay, but you might awaken the part of them that already exists. Mm. That's what you need to keep in mind. This is not hate from my personal point of view. It's terror. Yeah. And that's what makes it easier for me to get through the day. Because if I walked so. through the day thinking half the world hated me, it would be very hard <laughs> to get up and leave. Exactly. I mean, I know and I accept and I have no choice but to live in a world where people don't like me. Yeah. Whether it be because I'm gay, because I'm fat, because I have salt and pepper hair, because I'm Italian, because I'm on the radio. There are many reasons why people don't like me. Yeah. And I have to uh, accept and embrace that. Right. But I always believe that it comes from fear. Yeah. Fear that I'm having a better day, that I have a better answer, or that you will never find the answer.